Right, so it's winter practice time. I'm gonna give you two simple drills to absolutely level up your iron game. Right, so these are my two favorite practice drills. I can guarantee that week to week, I'll get several clients working on these two simple things to just improve their iron strikes. And that's what we need to be doing. Going into the winter, there's plenty of time to practice rather than play. And this is definitely something that you can do. So stick around because the second one really will improve your game. Now, so the first drill that I often see is people struggling to shift their weight through the ball and an inability to use the ground to generate force. And we all know that you have to use the ground to generate force and create power. And it's hard sometimes for a lot of golfers to get that feeling in their game. So quite often when they stand there and swing, both feet are gonna feel very static, little bit of rotation, but not really using the ground enough. So this simple, simple drill really emphasizes that and, and makes you use the ground to generate a little bit of force in your swing. And it's so simple. All you need to do, set yourself up like you would do normally. So there, I've got a seven iron. So set yourself up, ball's relatively central to my stance. And then bring your left foot level with your right, so just in there. And then take a couple of practice swings that as you try to step forward, deliver the, uh, the point of impact. So as you're delivering the club to the ball, you wanna be putting your left foot down on the ground and really getting the feeling that you're gonna push down on the ground to get yourself up and out. So it's to stand there, do a few swings where you're trying to get that, stamp that left foot down into the ground at the point of impact when you're trying to hit the ball. That's gonna get you shifting your weight through, improve the low point of your swing and it'll level up those shots. So this one should look like this. So set yourself up as I would do normally, bring my left foot level with my right and then make a swing and try and get the point of impact I'm putting my left foot on the ground. And you can see there, that really gets your body moving through, gets your weight moving through, and then you start using the ground, and those ground reaction forces are gonna generate more power in your swing. Now, the second one is about sequencing. So often you're gonna struggle, or I see people struggling to get the sequence of their body right. So, you know, in the relation of how their body turns and rotates, struggling with that and then losing balance as a result. So if that's something that you suffer with, this is such a simple drill that you've got to try. So it is easy. Put your two feet together so that they are touching and then stand there and swing like that and hit the ball. So if you do this wrong, you're gonna feel yourself going off balance, losing and then stumbling over. So this is put your feet together, they have to touch and then stand there and swing so that you're turning and rotating and using your whole body as you're standing there and swinging. And you'll be surprised at how well you can hit it. So it should look like this. So as I stand there, put my two feet together, they're touching, and then I'm gonna make some swings and hit the ball. And you can see there, well-timed shot, deliver the club well, good strike, ball gets out there, and I'm quite happy with that. So those two drills, stand there, you're gonna stand there, Stamp your foot down, use the ground so that you're generating a bit of force and power. Put your feet together so that you can work on your sequencing. Those two things are really gonna improve your iron strikes. And then just get those feels from those practice swings and put them into your actual swing and it will get better. So if you like that video and you wanna level up your chipping game, make sure that you check that one out.